Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum to students of class 4, 5 and 6. So this is your third lecture on the collaborated English syllabus and today we are going to have a chapter on you know Pakistan's new moon. This chapter has been taken out from your book. So let's begin the reading session. So Pakistan's new moon. Okay. It's about uh, an article uh, which is uh, taken from a local newspaper from Pakistan and it is telling us that Suparco is Pakistan's space and upper atmospheric research commission and some of the engineers who work there started as skilled radio hams. They are graduate. They are graduate uh, of the University of Surrey in England, the institution which built and operated many small satellite such as UO9, UO11 and then followed by UO22 hamsets. Okay ji, Suparco. Suparco is you know Pakistan Space and Upper Atmospheric Research Commission which has been founded by Dr. Abdus Salam in 16th September 1961. Okay, its headquarter is located at Karachi or now, as far as the University of Surrey is concerned, like there are some engineers who are working at Sparco, they are the graduates of University of Surrey, which is located in the area mein located in England. Ke andar. Okay? And satellites, kya hoti hai? what are satellites? Satellites are basically uh, objects which are placed into an orbit. And in the function, kya hota hai? satellites are, you know, to provide us the information from orbit, from the satellite, from the space. For example, you have radio satellites, you have weather satellites. For example, you have air traffic, you have airlines, you have operated. So, when you have GPS, you have based in satellites. You have weather updates, you have location, and all that thing. Is that clear? What are hamsets? Hamsets are the radio satellites. Like the radio satellites, which we have radio. Sunte. Up to both come soon at the radio to so that uh, radio satellites are known as hemsets. Now, starting from the second paragraph, after the graduates returned to Lahore and Karachi, they started to build their own satellite with the support from the Pakistan Amateur Radio Society PAR Pakistan Amateur Radio Society. It is basically a non profit organization. Uh, by the government of Pakistan, or ye ek uh, aapki voluntarily tor par kaam karti hai. Jo ke in 1986 they started building the satellite, the first one to be made in the Muslim world. They called it Badr one after the Urdu word uh, for new moon. So in Pakistan ki jo pehli satellite hai, they launched it in the year of 1986. So isko inhone Pakistan ke liye jo satellite uh, launch ki, usko inhone Badr one. Uh, ka naam, the, jo hai, title diya. the tiny satellite now this third paragraph is telling about the structure of that satellite but the one the tiny satellite just 20 inches in the diameter was a polyhedron with 26 surfaces which contained digital communication in 1990 it was launched from the Ziaching launch center in China which is in town Xiaon mein. So now it circled the globe every 96 minutes. Like जो आपका पूरा globe है, उसको 96 minutes में circle out करता है. Passing over Pakistan for 15 minutes, three or four times a day. तो ये Pakistan से जब move करता है, तो 15 minutes के लिए, 15 minutes के लिए इसका circle होता है, round होता है, और वो three to four times a day होता है. It sustained itself in space for 146 days before burning up into the Earth's atmosphere. Two satellites are in particular life. They end up at particular time. So the life of this other one is up to 146 days in the Earth's atmosphere. Suparco so engineer later built a second a more sophisticated uh, and advanced satellite which is known as Badr 2 which had a CCTV, uh, CCD camera, closed circuit camera for picture of earth and a system uh, you know which allowed station on the ground to change the satellite direction oh wow it's great you know so CCD camera for pictures of earth and a system which allowed the station on the ground to change the satellite direction in space it was carried into space in 2001 by Zenit 2 rocket from Russia 
Belkanor, Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Now the engineers are designing a large number of communication satellites which will carry you know around 4800 long distance telephone circuits and 2400 rural channels. So you know students this chapter is telling you that how Suparco is working how the satellites are you know uh, sent to the uh, space so that they can work out so that uh, they can you know communicate about the space details the uh, uh the orbits detail to the uh, pakistan uh, condition pakistan's country so okay students uh, let's move toward the you know uh, exercise part and uh, there are reading for understanding like there are some questions out there seven questions out there which is uh, which are number one okay how did their time at university help engineers who build the badr satellite like the uh, the engineers who came out uh, from university of survey so how did university of survey help them out in you know uh, creating the badr satellite since that university since that university is uh, helping the students to operate and build the satellites therefore the infrastructure of that university the faculty of that university the overall environment of that university help those engineers who came back to lahore and karachi to you know launch and develop the badr one satellite now in what way uh, why was the badr one known as the first satellite because it is the first satellite to be launched uh, by pakistan therefore it is badr one called as second is why was badr one uh, has been selected the name as i told you it was the first satellite and they comparatively uh, titled this with the uh, in the comparative analysis by the moon therefore they called uh, the first satellite as badar 1 the urdu name for the moon is badar chand ko bad moon ko urdu mein chand aur badar kehte hain so they called it as badar 1 second what did the badar one satellite look like so you know that paragraph number 3 uh, is telling you about the details then what did it do after it was launched uh, again you can uh, find this out and write the uh, answer of this question in your own words in what ways badar 2 superior to badar one like badar 2 you know uh, was more sophisticated it contained ccd camera uh, now the direction of badar Two can be controlled by the uh, Earth, by the you know uh, station uh, located in Pakistan. Then, uh, what are the engineers planning after the success of Badr Two? The engineers were obviously planning to you know come up with more satellites uh, so that they can provide to Pakistan you know uh, space and upper atmospheric research organization, which was founded by Abdul Salam Sahab. now uh, what uh, working out the meanings i told you about satellites i told you about hamset and then the question number 3 is asking what is a cosmodrome so you can find out the meaning uh, by googling it out now uh, there is a concept there is a concept so acronym is you know the uh, concept uh, which makes uh, a word or couple of word combination of word uh, shortened out okay for example there are some word uh, we studied in the chapter suparco so suparco is you know uh, pakistan space and upper atmospheric research center so in acronym uh, we take out the first letter of words uh, different words and then make it a single word make it a single word that single word is called as acronym for example who world health organization for example uk united kingdom and there are some you know other acronyms which we can you know find out in our daily lives so uh, you know you can easily understand the understand the concept i hope so regarding acronyms now let's move forward so here is a writing task from your book and you can see that there are number of acronyms out there you can find out the uh, full forms of acronym and you must also find out the you know uh, what what is the definition of these particular acronyms and then work out the questions the work out the words meaning that you feel difficult uh, at understanding make the words meaning in your copy 
uh, write out the question answers write the definition of acronym and then write out the full form of these acronyms which are uh, right which are included in your book in your you know academic material and then send to the uh, Eton virtual program group whatsapp group thank you assalamu alaikum